Colorado first. Okay, we're getting real close to 545 right now on this Tuesday. Let's say hello to Dave Aguilera. Oh, man, it's early. Have some coffee for you. Yeah. Oh, you do. Oh, that'll get me up. 60 up on Lookout Mountain now as we look over the city. Sunrise at 6:30 this morning, but we're already seeing there's just one lonely cloud out there in the eastern horizon. 50 in Evergreen right now. We have 55 in Aurora and 60 in Greeley. Big, big Bob Lockhart in Glenwood Springs coming in at 46 degrees. Our weather watcher out there. He says he's got a crystal clear, chilly morning, and it's back to the grind for him after this long Labor Day week. Here's a cold front that came through yesterday. Cooler air settling in over Colorado. Uh, it's enhanced by uh, a slightly cooler air even still coming to, out of Wyoming. So that's going to keep us in the 70s to near 80 degrees today and mostly clear skies across the state. Just maybe a few clouds in the mountains this afternoon. That'll be it. Now as we get into September, the fall colors start to change about mid to late September. Northern Colorado starts to change over. You get the peak, get some good pictures out there. Central Colorado, late September into early October and then the southern stretches of the state on into October. If you are making plans, keep us in mind. You report at CBS.com. You can send your pictures in. We've also liked to share them on our Facebook page, Twitter page, or Instagram page. Send them in and we'll try to get them either on our social media sites or on the stream or on TV and uh, show them off uh, for you this year. Uh, as far as temperatures go in the foothills today, 60s from Estes Park all the way down to Blackhawk at 69 there. 70s to near 80 for the metro area if you're in Douglas County. Castle Rock neighborhood at 77 should be about 79 in Highlands Ranch and up north 77 in Alt LaSalle should be right around 78 degrees there in central Weld County. So my forecast for Denver today cooler with about 79 the high but sunny skies all day long. It's going to be cool out west as well. 80s on the western slope 70s and 60s in the mountains and 80s down to the southeast. Big improvement for these guys down here. They were getting close to 100 yesterday so a nice day today. 86 breezy tomorrow will be near 90 on Thursday and Friday and then over the weekend 89 for the big buffs game on Saturday and it's a morning game so it'll be in the 70s and mostly sunny and then Broncos Sunday 84 degrees uh, halftime should be about 84 and there's a chance for a few isolated afternoon thunderstorms by then and then after that next week a string of 70s for you as September really starts to take over all the way through the middle of next week Brian I know you just started a couple of months ago but a lot of people consider like September the best weather mm -hmm. that we have during the year yeah like mm -hmm. 70s and 80s yeah. on highs and hardly any I mean, storms it looked at like all. it right there in the 70s. And it's not so. even started to snow much yet either. Right. Yeah. Right. Not, not much yet. Shape. Not <laughs> much yet. There you go. Yeah. You have right. warned me about that. So there, uh -huh. there's that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Steve. You still have that to go. All right. Because see how the road's looking on this day back to work. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> a lot of people headed out the door. We do have a few crashes. So oh. we'll wow. get a, a look outside at our CDOT camera. This is a look at one of those areas. We have a crash. The southbound lanes of I-25 near 84. So you'll notice those 10.